Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And today I'm gonna take a look at two pairs of shoes that just arrived from Joseph Cheney and Sons. Now you can see they, uh, they don't pack the shoes with the trees in them, which is good because this pair of shoes, I think this was the one, um, uh, is actually a pair of slippers. And uh, the trees are actually for a pair of Avons. That, uh, that I've had for a while, um, as well as uh, the one new pair today. So, but for, for right now, we're gonna focus on um, this pair of shoes, and then I will do a separate unboxing for the slippers, because I think that that uh, is worthy of a, of a separate uh, video. So, um, this is Joseph Cheney and Sons, and this, uh, if I'm opening the right box, is going to be my first pair of split toe Oxfords. Yes, Oxfords. It's also gonna be the first pair of factory made um, combination shoes that use um, uh, smooth leather and suede. And so here they are. This is this beautiful gold museum cap and some very nice suede on the top. See the sole work, um, classic Cheney. It's my first leather sole from Cheney, so I'm very excited about that. But I'm mostly very excited at this. This is an Oxford, has pretty good toe iron, a lot of really nice finishing, has beveled waist on both sides and a flat sole just beautifully executed you know you can see that there are nails here but they're very deeply set um you know i can't feel the stitching it's all deeply set it's very nicely done it's not super dense you know as i've noticed with uh cheney before but it's not super loose either and it's very even and again well executed so very nicely done the toe. It's got stitching on both sides. It's a reverse toe there. And it's it's a very elegant look to it, which is really what I was looking for. I wanted something that was subtle. I've always liked this combination of suede and smooth leather here. And I have a pair of split toes that has that. That's dark brown and brown. This is a little bit lighter. And of course it has the museum effect as well, which um, is just cool. So uh, something to uh, try, something new. I'm at the stage in my shoe collection where I'm looking for something that's a little different. Not loud, not crazy. There are certain brands that really do appeal to that, and Cheney is not one of them. But this is just different enough that I'm anxious to see it and, and try it. Uh, this is also the only one I have that has the combination where there's actually lacing through the suede. So if I go and I grab my other pair of suede uh, leather here, it's these, these are October 10th, and you see that they have the tongue, and this is suede, but obviously the facing is leather, so you have the combination here, but it's really, really two different pieces, where here you can see how it's really incorporated into the design very differently. Now, some people are not gonna like that, and some people are, um, and that's part of what I like about it. Now, if I look at this from a symmetry standpoint, what's interesting is that the suede goes off and down on the inside of the foot, but it's kind of different the way it kind of goes down on the, on the outside of the foot. So that's, that's a different, that's a stylistic choice that Cheney made. They are consistent on both shoe, um, but it is, uh, the way that that's moved is, is interesting to me. And now that I look at it, it, I'm not quite sure that it really is. I'd have to get a tape measure and actually measure it to see whether it's quite symmetric. Now, shoes aren't supposed to be 100% symmetric, so, you know, you have to forgive them a little bit for that. But it is an interesting way of, of doing the uppers, um, which uh, intrigues me. So... First pair of Oxfords from Cheney, first pair of leather soles from Cheney, 
first pair of English combination shoes um, and first pair of combination Oxfords. So very excited to see what they're like and see how they feel. And I will report back as we go through the process. Thank you for watching.